Welcome back to Derby City Wrestling. Timmy Baltimore here on the Louisville Network. And this is the home of the hungry. And you know, for the past few weeks, my guest here, Ted the Trailer McNailer, AKA the Man Beast, has had a very serious ax to grind with the figure four weeklies, Chico Alvarez. But up until this point, the banner has only been one-sided. We've only heard from you, Ted the Trailer McNailer. Well, I have you out here for a very special reason. And that reason is, Chico Alvarez has sent in his own response to you, Ted the Trailer McNailer. Let's roll that footage. Hey everybody, Brian Alvarez here. I just wanted to say thank you to Derby City for the opportunity to come on here today and say a couple of words about Ted the Trailer McNailer, who apparently, I've learned, is very upset with me, and I don't really know why. I have written some things about Derby City, I've reviewed all the shows, and apparently at one point I made some comment about Ted being skinny, and if that gravely offended you, I do apologize for that. I try and call it like I see it, and I'm sorry if I said you were skinny and you feel otherwise. I want to say that I appreciate all of the publicity that you've given me and my newsletter and I appreciate the car washes and the lemonade stand and whatever you've done to try and raise money to get me out there. I would love to visit Louisville. I would love to visit Derby City and Ohio Valley but I'm a writer now. I'm no longer a wrestler. I've retired and there's nothing going to be happening any time in the near future. I am not getting back in the ring. So, Ted, I just want you to know that I think you're a great wrestler for a guy in wrestling school. I wish you the best of luck. And I do want to add one thing that when I do write my newsletter, I review shows, I say things about guys are skinny, whatever the case may be, but I don't talk about personal lives. I don't talk about people's families or anything like that. So I would appreciate it if we could get rid of the Granny sucks shirts and any references to Granny and that sort of thing. She is my grandmother. And if you want to say whatever you want to say about me, I'm fine with that. If you want to make fun of my uh, buddy Vinny, say he's fat, whatever, I am totally fine with that. But let's keep the personal family stuff out of this. So, Danny, Rip, I want to thank you for the opportunity. And Ted the Trailer McNailer, I wish you the best in this wacky business. I hope you make it. Chico! You've got a lot of nerve. What do you mean I'm good for a guy in a wrestling school? I have you know, Chico, I am one of the best wrestlers of all time. In case you didn't know, Chico, the WWE asked me to go backstage at Raw and at WrestleMania. And not only did they pay me, and not only did they give me a free buffet, but I also got to be paparazzi, I got to be a druid, and I got to be personal security for Mr. McMahon. What have you done with your wrestling career, Chico? Your greatest claim to fame has been losing to the grappler on Portland television. Now, Chico, I'm a little flustered right now, so I'm gonna go to the back and I'm gonna collect my thoughts. And a little later in the show, I'm gonna give an official statement to you and your yellow back. Well, there you have it. Ted the Trailer McNailer declining the offer in a rather classy manner did Chico Alvarez. He apparently wants no part of Ted the Trailer McNailer. But in other news, 